I laid down for a second. That was a bad idea. Well, actually, hold on just a second. I need to do something. But, uh, yeah, guys. So, Q&A time. Ask some questions. I don't know if you guys have any questions. I will try to answer them right now. Yeah, I have a question about um, you know just speed or efficiency while working. I have a big problem with um, you know just the speed at which I work. So I was wondering, you know, what the biggest uh, contribution I could do, you know, daily to sort of speed up my workflow or anything of that sort. Um, I think the actually let me answer that by demoing I can just demo that for you give me a second though let me finish this I'm setting up an event but the, the short answer is um, timing yourself Okay. Uh, because whenever I started timing myself, like I saw a huge increase in my uh, art speed. And uh, a lot of people just don't do that. They just don't. They're just afraid of... Um, Uh, they're afraid of their drawings just being bad, <laughs> you know, and like you got to trust that you're going to have bad drawings um, all the time, you know, like when you're just starting out. But like the point is not to focus on bad drawings. The point is to focus on bad habits and good habits. Like what are the things that you should practice when you're painting and what things should you avoid when you're painting? Um, well, let, me, let me write this real quick. I should have done this before I started class, but it's okay. Give me like one minute. I'm going to show you because I, I have a demo for this specific problem. already. That's why I should do these things without the added pressure of hurrying up. It's like a one day event. Alright, there you go. Okay. So, sorry about that. Let me now show you the demo. Okay. So, uh, so let's just try to get something done in a short amount of time. So let me go ahead and get a timer. 
And we'll just do. No, we'll do something. Yeah, we'll do one minute. And uh, I don't have an objective of just trying to draw space parries. Just said it was like halfway through, so I'm not sure if this first drawing is going to be any good. I already realized things that I could probably have done better. But I'll explain that in just a second. Alright. I wasn't sure if it was going to let me know, but it did really loudly. Okay. So let's go ahead and move this guy out of the way. And this is pretty much what I've done. Now, I'm only doing a minute, and this is a real application. Usually I do like a 10 second demo. Right? But one minute is like a true challenge to me. I can get a lot of information done in a minute. But is it valuable information? That's the question. Space pirate. There's nothing space about this. Okay, let's do it. So let's snake this guy. Give him like a robot parrot. And so one of the problems that I'm running into, that I'll address in the next version, is basically, I, I just can't get that, I'm focused too much on details and features. You know? And I keep missing the mark of the space pirate part, like it's just a pirate. So I need to think of ways So I'm going to try it this time. And this is a method that you guys know I use a lot. It's a method I teach. But the point is, is that um, I'm practicing. Oh, I have an idea. My design ability. And so I'm running out of ideas of what, how I can make this space parity. But now I think I have an idea. It's just like, it's all left in the silhouette. Like these are like spark plugs and these dreads. And then what I can do is then I can go and started thinking about the inside. But see, the time has run out, but I solved one problem, which is the idea part of it. Right? So I need to get faster. I'm nailing on the silhouette, so I already know a solution for this. Start small.
And at this point, like, I would also probably just start to look into reference, get ideas outside. You know, especially if I don't feel like I'm coming up with anything different. Where right I am, so it's fine. But is this helpful? Are you seeing what's happening? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think, like, yeah. like you, you see, like, the, the point is, is just practice, right? You just got to think about what you want to improve upon and build something around that and practice it. See, I'm getting faster now. I was going to put the spark plugs in, but it took too long. All right. And if I were to do this for like an hour, you know, I would have like a page full of skits. But this is like, this is kind of like me challenging myself nowadays because like, I normally can get something done in a much with a little bit more time. And I'm going to show you what happens. So I'm going to give myself five minutes now. Okay. Yeah, I just learned something too, actually, from doing this demonstration. So that's great. I learned like I don't really need to have the features yet in terms of the so I can decide that later. I just need to get the the idea done first. A little bit more focused, as you can probably tell, since I'm talking. And do you, do you see, do you notice something different about the time? In regards to the length of time or? Yeah, do you notice the difference? What do you notice? <laughs> um, you know, in in an extra minute, you can get so much more done. I guess you're not bad, but like, what's what's happened? Like, what is your sense of time? What does it feel like? Like when you're watching me do this, doesn't it feel like I have so much time? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But the reality is it's only still five minutes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, five minutes is not a challenge to me because I do paintings in five minutes nowadays. You know, not like full-fledged paintings, but good, definitely reasonable sketches. And I can get pretty reasonable paintings done in 15 minutes. You know? That's my point is that when you paint for seven hours and that's your that's your standard 
then then yeah, painting in five ten minutes is going to feel like impossible. But if you practice five ten minute paintings often, then your standard increases. That means your standard of speed increases. You get it? Space Pirates. I have this game idea. It's basically called Space Pirates. <laughs> Very original. I mean, I was to say, like, I feel like there is no time at all. <laughs> it just finished the five minutes. So let's say it takes you seven hours, or like, let's let's bring it down a notch. Let's say it takes you three hours to do a reasonable painting. You know, something that you feel comfortable with, but you you feel like that's too long, right? So then you try to do instead of three hours, try to do a one-hour painting and practice that a lot. And you might suck, like I said. Like, there might be a lot of things that you're not seeing that you're doing wrong, and then that's what you can feel. Like, right now, um, I already have a lot, like, there's a laundry list of stuff that's on my brain right now. Right? Of things I should study. So that way I can make better space pirates. Which is one, how do I, like, what, what kind of stuff should I do to make them space pirates I was thinking of like looking at like Mad Max designs you know and then pirate designs and then combining the two so there's a little bit of future tech but then they look like pirates like the silhouettes and their shapes and their ideas look like a pirate you know what I mean and I think that's a good way to get space pirate designs done you understand and so now I'm going to study that and practice that and then I'll come back to this one minute you know showdown and then try to do it again you get it yeah I, I got it I'm gonna keep painting on the space pirate any other questions but yeah timing yourself is like freaking people just don't do it I tell them to and they just don't <laughs> like I, I, I'm being sincere about like you should totally time yourself And then speed will just come. Any other questions? So I'm going to go ahead and look at some reference right now. She got a Pinterest. Well, yeah, see multiple go guns, coins. That's clever. Yeah, like treasure. Knives. Oh, this, this guy looks dope. Ropes. Okay. So then I have to try to, like, find parallels to that. All right, let's, so let's take the, the coin idea. So maybe the coins in the future are rectangular. And they glow. I'll do that in the post. And then ropes, it would be wires. And they'll like be plugged into the hat. You know? So like the silhouette is pirate. But like the details, it's like space
Any other questions? Uh, I think whenever I paint, specifically nowadays, uh, I I have a the idea of what I'm painting. The things that I don't think about is how I'm painting it entirely. Uh, maybe if I'm worrying about speed, I am like kind of like in the earlier part of the demo. But now I'm not. I'm not really worried about it because speed's not a part of the factor. I mean, I know it's going to be done quickly, but I'm not. I don't care. And so then maybe I need to like do a little more. I, I have like a specific kind of sci-fi that I do, but I don't want to do it that way. I want to do kind of a more popular form of sci-fi. Something that you would see like from Halo. So I'm going to like start looking at that. Like here's a gun here. So it's like I just took an idea that I just saw and I thought it was great. And I'm now just making it... Um, fantasy, basically. And then what I should do, too, is, like, mix it up with the texture brushes so then it feels like old timely pirate. And then I could do, like, some cool post effects on this later. So something like uh, something like this, where we just make it look like old timely. Have some drama. I'll come back and paint on top of this some more, but um, just showing you kind of how I go about certain things. Now I'm going to add some. questions if there's no specific number request how many thumbnails are you showing to a client uh, I just show no more than no less than three I like to show at least three or something um, but in the beginning I like to show a lot so like maybe like five or ten So for the class, I mean, you guys do like 20, and it's because I want you guys to practice doing a lot of thumbnails. There is like an old school chalk brush that I used to use. I wonder if I can find it. I think it would be perfect for this type of thing. It's kind of like this brush. Yeah, I could probably convert this into that. I need to add some texture.
But anyway, yeah, I, I, I generally send them as many as I feel that they'll need to see. You know, and that varies. Yeah, see, this is not working. Let us just do the good old standard trash brush here. Gotta make those eyes have some soul. Yeah, any other questions while I'm just doing this? Because I'm actually enjoying painting this little space pirate dude. <laughs> Probably should use the standard brush. Or you guys just watching me paint and just being like, cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, see, so like now, I should have uh, finished this painting more along the lines in the first stage that you saw earlier. So that way I can keep a lot of these effects and colors. But it's okay. You live and you learn. Right? Planning on having another Creative Juice? We're having one in Toronto. It's not labeled Creative Juice. It's hosted by my students. But it's relatively the same thing. Sweet. Oh, speaking of which. Alright, cool. This guy is coming. Order some groceries. But yeah, I'll do some more research and like looking at pirate themes and stuff. Like get some ideas. I was thinking about making them all robots too. This is something that I like to do. Just draw all robots. It could be fun. Feels more like a minor, like a western story too. It's like so, that's something that I'm like looking at and critiquing in my own work. So I'll probably redo it. But like that's that's the cool thing about all this, right? Is that I'm not necessarily attached to it. Like I can throw this away and be cool, you know. Um, because I could do it again, but it'll be better the second time. Or maybe not even the second time, like the fourth or fifth time. You know? And that kind of confidence only comes with, like, painting a lot and being okay with, like, throwing away your darlings. Which a lot of people just aren't. They're just not cool with. Yeah. Any other? Um, looking at a lot of robot designs and mechanical stuff and then just doing tons of studies, the, the things that helped a lot was just understanding how they worked, like understanding like the, the mechanisms behind them, 
That was a pretty powerful tool. Again, like, if you don't know anything, then you don't expect anything. You know, if you don't know how things are attached or worked, and then you're trying to paint it, like, you're going to lose that battle every time. You know? Um, that, like, everything that I've been trying to teach you guys, again, is like the whole teaching you how to fish. Like, don't, don't just copy the way I paint. Like, learn how to paint for yourself. Because then you'll come up with your own style, and then no one will be able to necessarily replicate it right away. You know what I mean? And if they do, it's always going to be a knockoff. They're always going to be second rate. Because, like, what my painting style is just a collection of all my favorite artists and painters and all the people that I've studied over the years. Maybe it'd be best to have it fade to like a texture than it being texturedly painted. Maybe having the background have some texture. So I have this board game idea and it's with space pirates. So I'm trying to think of designs. This is it's not so bad. It's starting to come around. But like I said, I could I can drop this at any moment and be cool. Anyway, I'm gonna stop here, guys. Um, any final questions before I let you guys go? No, there is not class on Sunday. There is no more classes on Sunday. That's why we're on the fifth week right now. It's because Sunday doesn't make sense for me. Because um, I, I usually, with the family, are doing some other stuff or sleeping in. <laughs> Otherwise, I never get sleep. Like, right after this, I'm going to go lay down. I'm really tired still. And so, um, I would say that's it, guys. Now, next week is going to be the final class. But the, the thing is, I might not be able to work or have class next week because I work a lot next week. So if that's the case, I'll let you guys know right away. And that'll be good for you because it'll give you guys one extra week to really work hard on your stuff that you have already done. Um, but then the, the following after will absolutely be the last week if that's the case. If not, if I feel like I could totally do uh, the last week next week, I'll let you know too. I'll let you know oh, at least by Monday. That's when I'll be able to gauge what the week's going to look like. All right. Yeah, man. Totally. All right, guys. Peace out. Talk to you guys soon enough. Good luck with your final stuff. Hang out. Talk to each other. Give each other feedback. And really push your stuff so I can share it uh, later. I'm going to start sharing you guys' work again with people online. So talk to you guys later. Adios.